It is my great pleasure and honor to briefly discuss Yoshiko Ogata's research accomplishments. Yoshiko received her PhD from the University of Tokyo, where she was a physics major. She was a postdoc at the University of Marseille and UC Davis, and then joined Kyushu University as a faculty member. In 2009, she moved to the Department of Mathematics of the University of Tokyo, where she is now a full professor. Yoshiko has been working on problems in quantum many body systems by using the operator algebraic formulation. She has solved and is solving a variety of the most difficult problems in physics that involve infinite degrees of freedom by developing precise, sometimes deep mathematical tools. Let me discuss some examples. With Voikan Jaksik and Claude Alan Pillet, Yoshiko studied the general problem of non-equilibrium steady states and justified the linear response theory, especially the Onsaga reciprocal relations. The Onsaga relations are still among the most essential results in non-equilibrium physics. And I would say that this is a fundamental contribution to a traditional problem in physics. In the field of quantum spin system, Yoshiko has made several fundamental contributions on problems that are fashionable even in the physics community. To explain her contributions, I'd like to recall Duncan Haldane's famous discovery, uh, which brought him the 2016 Nobel Prize in Physics. It's about low energy properties of the anti-ferromagnetic Heisenberg chain with this Hamiltonian. Haldane conjectured that when and only when the spin quantum number s is an integer, this model has a unique gapped ground state, namely a unique ground state accompanied by a non-zero energy gap immediately above the ground state energy. This conjecture has not yet been solved, but it was proved that a similar Hamiltonian uh, with spin one has a unique gap ground state, which is believed to be qualitatively similar to, similar to the ground state of the original Heisenberg chain. But it is also easy to write down a model that has a unique gap ground state for a trivial reason. For example, the spin one chain with this Hamiltonian clearly has a unique gap ground state, which is this simple tensor product. It is then natural to ask whether these two ground states are smoothly connected. To be precise, we say that the models with H0 and H1 are smoothly connected if there exists a family of Hamiltonians with a unique gap ground state that smoothly interpolates between them. It was conjectured by Cheng, Gu, and Wen in 2011 that H0 and H1 are indeed smoothly connected if one is allowed to use any short range Hamiltonian to interpolate between them. This fact is now known rigorously. It follows, for example, from Yoshiko's extensive classification theory of matrix product states published in 2016 and 2017 as a trilogy in communications in mathematical physics. But this is not the end of the story. Recall that both H0 and H1 have time reversal symmetry that is invariant under this transformation. It was conjectured by Gu and Wen in 2009 that if we require interpolating Hamiltonians to also possess time reversal symmetry, then H0 and H1 are never connected smoothly. In this case, the models with H0 and H1 are said to belong to different symmetry protected topological phases. This is indeed the fact that Yoshiko proved in her ground, groundbreaking paper appeared in 2018 and published in CMP last year. In this and the following paper published this year in CMP, Yoshiko defined indices for a unique gapped ground state of a spin chain with certain symmetry. The indices take value in the second group cohomology of the symmetry group and are proved to provide classification of symmetry protected topological phases. We should note that such indices were already defined by Paul Manterno, Balk, and Oshikawa back in 2010, but only for a limited class of states, namely injective matrix product states, while Yoshiko's index theories cover an arbitrary unique gapped ground state.
In this sense, we can say that Yoshiko has completed the theory of symmetry protected topological phases in quantum spin chains. It is simply amazing that fully rigorous and general mathematical theory was developed only nine years after the original heuristic proposal. But this is not yet the end of the story. Yoshiko never stops. She has already completed the theory of symmetry protected topological phases of two dimensional quantum spin system, as we can hear from her in the next session. I cannot help discussing one more work of Yoshiko's, which is my favorite and Yoshiko's favorite too, I hear. Suppose that there, there are n sequences for Hermitian matrices, which commute with each other asymptotically like this. We then ask whether the sequences of matrices can be approximated by sequences of mutually commuting Hermitian matrices Y like this. This is indeed a famous classical problem and it is well known that such commuting approximations do not exist in general. In her paper in 2013, published in Journal of Functional Analysis, Yoshiko proved that commuting approximations always exist if the original non-commuting matrices are taken as the densities of extensive quantities of a quantum spin chain. This result is natural for physical physicists since thermodynamics is a classical theory where all quantities commute. And these densities are precisely thermodynamic objects. To prove the theorem, Yoshiko studies projections onto the spaces where these extensive quantities take almost constant values, and then estimates the ranks of the projections by means of the entropy functions. This estimate with an operator algebraic technique enables her to construct the desired set of commuting matrices. I would say that the proof is an example of ideal combination of ideas from statistical mechanics and techniques from operator algebra. For me, it was a truly exciting experience to witness rapid progress in mathematical physics made by Yoshiko. But I'm sure that this is far from the end. I'm looking forward to many more new beautiful insights from Yoshiko. I would like to end by congratulating Yoshiko on this occasion of her winning the Andy Poincaré Prize. Ogata-san, omedetou gozaimasu.